Welcome to another fun-filled edition of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. My name's Amino Hassan. That's Black Trey. That's Mariano the Legend. That's Big Jerv. Got a great show lined up for you guys. Uh, episode two of Power Force, and they're uh, they're powerific again. Like episode one was good, and then episode two was like, nope, nope, nope. Make this way more powerific. So we'll get into that. Got a couple episodes of Oz to go through. One of the most infamous scenes in the history of Oz, one that was burning my brain years and years ago that I haven't seen since, and I saw it, I literally could recite every line from it. We'll talk about that. We're also going to talk about uh, at least one clip, one clip from the Cosby uh, docube series on um, on uh, uh, Showtime. It features a friend of the show, Mark Lamont Hill. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. We also, wow, it's a big show today. We got a lot of stuff. Um, but let's start with patreon.com slash count the things. That's right. That's the place to go for the extra content. Make sure you're a subscriber. Make sure you're getting those overflow episodes where we are reviewing Euphoria and Righteous Gemstones every week. Uh, as well as the watch-alongs for games, the watch-alongs for Cinephobe movies, the Cinephobe Special Edition movies, all that stuff and more. Patreon.com slash count the things. Guys, I went to Waste Management Open yesterday, the first time in two years for me. And let me tell you something. It was just as glorious as it's ever been. Now, for those of you that don't know, Waste Management Open is, is a golf tournament that they do here in Phoenix, and it is not like any other golf tournament. I'm not just saying that because, oh, trying to sell it. It's literally not like any other golf tournament because every other golf tournament, you have to be quiet. You have to be respectful. You do little golf claps. You, you whisper when someone's about to, to hit the ball. This one has DJs. It has drunk people everywhere. It's basically a big party. And it's the only one on the, in the entire golf calendar that's like that. The golfers all know it. They all kind of lean into it. Yeah. The so weather's like always big top golf, big top golf yeah. vibes. But yeah, but yep. just like on the main, yeah, yeah, okay. Everywhere though, everywhere okay. with like you know a hundred thousand people or whatever. Yeah. Um, and it, the weather's awesome. It's eighty degrees, and people dress funny and dress silly and <laughs> dress sexy and everything everything in between man it's just a great time trey uh went with me two years ago trey you can attest to the, the yeah, madness that it is. ain't no ain't no golf being watched ain't Zero no golf, golf being watched we just <laughs> we just drinking the whole time okay yep oh and food I, and everything. Uh, I, I, what were you about I'm to sorry, say Jerv? no yes, no i had a question watch for you Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, when you said ain't no golf being watched, uh, and I mean this respectfully, I thought that was your way in saying that's, you know, maybe that's where they be at. The, the host? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one went over my head. Yeah, I Me mean, too, no, 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 I was no. trying not to use the word, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> trying to be PC, no. man. Yeah, I mean, that one went over my head, but um, I will say, nah, you just getting drunk, bro. I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's women there. Cool. But the main thing is how a mean situation is every year. He, he Somebody blesses him with the, you know, the specific credentials that he needs. Credentials. Mm, okay. And with those credentials gives you access that other people, other people that go don't get. Right. And when you get there, you drink all day, you eat all day. You're not in the hot sun. You under these Man. like I need to come out sweet there. ass tents. And obviously, everybody who really is there for the golf, cool. You're outside, yeah, just chilling. Me and me, plastered. Like we going from like, hey, let's go over here to go over here. And like the last time we was there, which was two years ago, he ran into some friends that already knew. They pulled us into like this little section, and we pulled right. us to this section, and we just drinking and drinking and drinking. And then now, a mean can segue to the bus and why the bus exists. So, because I mean, it's a golf course, it's massive, right? So, it's not like you're pulling up to a parking lot and parking. The mm -hmm. parking lots are all really far removed from the course. So, you have to ride on a shuttle. And so, usually the shuttles are like those little shuttle buses. This is the first time I've ever seen the old school school bus. I mean, old school inside and out, like this same one they rode, they rode in on the 50s and 60s or whatever. So, I'm on there 
And, you know, I try to do the whole, they'll sit next to me thing. But eventually the school bus fills up and someone's got to sit. So some older lady sat next to me. So I don't know. I, the driver was cool. He's like, y'all want the radio up? I'm like, yeah. He turned it up and it was Neo or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm with this or whatever. And so that that's where that video came from. I, wanted, I was drunk, obviously. And I wanted to show everyone I was in the bus on a school bus and then I turned to the lady next to me like I tried to tell them we we're on a school bus and she's like yeah and I could tell from the video she was terrified but when I recorded it I thought she was having a good time so just goes to show <laughs> how often wait not, so now how, how often of a you know thing is like is it is it like a one time a year type of thing once or? once once a, year. once a year once a year it's the okay. week of the Super Bowl it's oh, okay, so okay. Week of the okay okay so when you think about different like golf things, right? The waste management, February, it's in Phoenix. Phoenix is the nicest time at this point. You're between mm. 80 to 100. Okay. You never know, but it's hot. Yeah. And it's dry land. So, hat or not, you're going to be hot. Yeah, yeah. And you add okay. alcohol to that mix. Yeah, yeah. It's lit. Any Anytime it's going to be hot. And it's gonna be alcohol and shit like that. There's gonna, you know, drink water, like Trey said. Think about drink water, think <laughs> think about showing up to Top Golf and just to drink. Yeah, mm. yeah. And, and you just watching around. somebody, and you just that's walking what, around. That's why with the Top Golf was, I want to say, right before the pandemic kind of started. You know what I'm saying? Like right around that time. Um, and I didn't know that my golf swing was okay. Cause I tried one time when I was younger, and that shit looked so much easier on TV than it is like in real life to swing a golf club. It looked like, yeah, let me just stand here and just swing this fucking club. I got up there, you know, that time and was like, oh, my shit kind of high, but it's still, it's still weak. Um, and I think I do kind of want to, I want to like fuck around with golf. That shit is interesting to me. I have the craziest slice ever. Like I suck. I, I, Hold I, on, I, I'm, I'm actually... all, the, all the gear and the. Honestly, Bro, those be the niggas at the, the basketball court with all the gear with the with the elbow they, pads yeah. and shit that came. Oh, I, I'm I'm definitely showing so. to the court. I'm definitely the nigga that's showing to the court with a jersey and the and the matching team mm-hmm. shorts and shit with, 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 with the sneaks and the motherfucking knee brace. Wait, you that's me you hoop go. like that? Hey, you, you doing the shit with no, 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 sneakers no, no, no. off before the game? Fuck no. Oh, first, like you, first, you, first like you wiping the bottom of your sneakers when you get out there and shit, looking like you really know what you're doing. First, <laughs> I, you know what? I apologize, gentlemen, and y'all can laugh at me all y'all want. I'd be remorse and I'd lose my card if I didn't say welcome to Philadelphia, James Harden. But with that being said, <laughs> yo, Trey, I do I just love him. You ever love him? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You moving I'm real sorry, nasty gonna, out here. We're gonna derail this conversation. Can't wait for six months from now when Jervis cussing this dude out for being in strip clubs or, or being fat or whatever. You know, the Jerv complaints are coming. Not not They're today, coming. not today on this date. No, we're not. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> We're not doing that today, brother. We're going to double back. It's a good time. It's going to be a popping summer. Okay. (laughs) I'm sure sure James Harden's going to be. Yeah, word, word. (laughs) Word. Get to know the city, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Philly Philly already said. I really love how. I really love how the trajectory of fans, like, change once they become part of their team. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you know bro. Listen, it's, it's yes. a, no, because it's the same thing with Ben. It's like Ben Ten, right? They're like, yeah, mm-hmm. da, da, da. it's like, that's oh, a, we that's love a, him. That's a sick. What? That's a sick joke. Not, like, that's, hey, that's a, you, a you great number niggas, selection. You know how many niggas lo- uh, like hate, like don't fuck with Brian. They be like, man, this nigga always crazy doing all this, whatever. But if they got the news that Brian signed with their team, they would go get the jersey. Man, like, it's, that's just how it go, dog. Like, easy. Laker fans, Laker fans did that, man. Nigga, yeah. Lakers fans spent LeBron's entire career up until he signed with them, mm. saying, "Fuck him, he'll never hey, be this, never be that." No tampering. There, they was pulling up. No tampering, <laughs> but you welcome. You welcome. You welcome, Jerv. <laughs> hey man, hey listen, brother. I, I hey, listen. Um, you know, I appreciate that. Um, you know, and um, no I hear everything y'all gentlemen are saying. But uh, you know, hey, bet you know what's my man number ten? Because we still not, we're, we're not, we're, we're, 10, we're not acknowledging. I tell you this: if my man don't Damn. play in that in that May yeah. for what? If he don't play in that May, whatever tenth game? No, it's, it's March tenth. March tenth. It's, it's, yeah. it's gonna be catch, epic. Catch, That's gonna catch be your crazy. boy. In, catch your boy in the garden March eleventh if he doesn't come March tenth. Mm, okay. Oh, you gonna go heckle? Duh. 
you're not escaping this smoke, my G. Like, what if he get there? Yeah, what if he get there? You know, and that shit about, to be, white, that shit like about that. to be white noise. They gonna throw beer on his ass for sure, though. Don't I don't think it ain't yeah, happening. Nah, listen, we not doing. We, we not. No, no, no. Come on, listen, man. listen. They do. They do lighters, hot nigga. dogs, waters at Jada Kiss, nigga. When he came out there and performed, my nigga. And this y'all dude, niggas boo Beyonce and yeah. Santa Claus, nigga. You talking about yes, yo, Philly? Not that shit. You crazy? First they do, they do, they do, don't try to act like you niggas go. got manners. This is this is my no, listen. Once, no, no, wait, wait. Everybody once a says year, that about this one at a time, one at a time, <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. Defend Santa Claus, shit, yo, because niggas always want to bring up the Santa Claus, shit, yo, yo. This, it was a foul asshole. situation. Not, nah, bruh. The, the Santa Claus that was supposed to be there didn't show up to the game. They pull a skinny dude that's drunk out of the stands to come down and be Santa Claus. What what do you expect the drunk crowd to do? They're gonna start booing this man. They know what it is. Damn, dog. Body shame is saying that's nasty, man. First of all, hey man, hey. <laughs> yo, right. uh, okay. By the way, but yo, uh, the, the, Trey, I wanted to ask you this because the All Star Draft. That they did on Thursday night, one of the funniest things I ever seen. Oh man! And the whole where KD was trying to make that last pick, and he said, "Going into how much size the other team has." Like he basically said, "Up, they're gonna take Rudy Gobert over James." Yeah, was he? Yeah. Uh, did he go into it knowing, like, oh, if it, if it comes down to, I'm gonna find some funny way to do this, or or what you think? Nah. So backstory, it was all delayed. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know how TV shit go? Like, are you sitting there waiting for the shit right. to come in? Every time niggas was saying something, it would, it would get to him late. So, like, LeBron laughing, and it's kind of right. hitting his shit like, wait. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, when right. he reacting, it's like, it's it, it looked like it was shade more so than anything. But, right. nah. I mean, after that, it kind of got down to that point of, like, a little slight petty. But, like, honestly, it was more so, like, Brian had low-key drafted all the niggas he wanted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like, all right, like, I don't have a big. This nigga got Giannis in, so right. I'm going to be basketball-minded and take this nigga. But it, right. it was like how it was set up. It was perfect. Like, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Jokes yep. right themselves. Yeah, I mean, and the situation yep. just happened. So it's like it lined up perfectly. The names are sitting right there. And then, like, the reason that he gave. You Can we boss another like, fans. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And we're black. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, uh, Jeremy, I was gonna ask you if you go if if Ben Simmons doesn't come to Philly, he said you're going to the garden the next day. You're going with Mark Lamont Hill. Are you Mark uh, you're gonna <laughs> join forces? Hey, he, he you know that would be dope if he uh if he if he made the journey with me. But uh I put it out to everyone. Yeah, M Mark was saying. Mark was saying that, like, because of the show, it's hard for him to get the games now. Because because you're working on the sh yeah, so it's like it's just tough. So it's like it's got to be weekend games or whatever. I, I um, guarantee you, he, I guarantee you, he he somehow some way he won't be working. Uh, if if reports saying a dude's gonna play, there's no way he's working. Yeah, like, <laughs> calling him dude and everything. Yo, 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 that's a bet. Yo, that's a that's a that's a fever or under the weather type type day. Jerry, is that the tell all? Is that the tell all sign that like a Philly person is off of you? Whether it's an athlete, entertain a regular person, when they just start referring to you as dude, like is that is that it? Is that is that the sign? Boy, yeah, dude, boy. Oh, like dude, if you just yeah, if you yeah. just stop mentioning somebody's name and just referring to that individual, gotcha. there's gotcha. other like generic things. Yeah, you're definitely off that person. That's one hundred percent. Okay. Yo, sp speaking of Mark Lamont Hill, uh, we saw a clip circulate from the doc the Cosby docu series about just you know the, all the crazy stuff the crit Bill Cosby has done and gotten away with. And I thought uh, the clip I saw with Mark Lamont Hill, it was it had nothing to do with any of the the sexual assault stuff, but it was like a great insight to who Bill Cosby is like as a mm -hmm. as a person, right? Oh, like yeah, exactly. The <laughs> private, the behind the closed doors Cosby versus the public Cosby. Um, basically, in the clip, uh, Mark is talking about how Cosby had this kind of commencement speech where he was telling 
you know, black people, hey, black guy, young men, you got to pull up your pants and stop sagging your jeans and stuff like that. A lot of respectability politics. Stuff. Whole ass nigga. So, so Mark wrote an a op-ed talking about, yeah, I mean, all that's well and good, but we can't just ignore all the, the real issues that are basic people. So this dude, Cosby, calls up Mark's, uh, you know, the, the dean of the school where Mark is a professor, Basically, I don't. I, who's this guy? Da da da, and like making it hot. So then Mark goes to an event that Cosby's at. He goes there, he sees him, he goes respectfully, "Hey, Doctor Cosby, I'm the one who wrote that column." And he thought we we're gonna have a discussion about it. He said this dude Cosby put on his sunglasses, didn't even make eye contact, and then finally said, "Hey man, did I ever fuck with you?" <laughs> And Mark's like, no. <laughs> and Cosby said, why are you over here fucking with me? Why are you trying and to fuck then, up my opportunity? Oh, my opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> so then the next day, Mark said he showed up to work. And the dean is like, yo, Bill Cosby called. He said he tried to rap with you. He wasn't trying to hear it. <laughs> ho ass. That's ho ass nigga one on one right there, dog. For real. Yo, like, that's ho ass nigga one on one, dog. Next Andy. level. So first of all, uh, Jerv, did, uh, did you watch it? Because I none, I don't think any of us watched the whole thing. We just watched that clip. Did you watch the whole thing? I watched the it start Cosby to finish. Okay, start, start and so you finish. So you are our native son of Philadelphia. You stick up for all things Philly in here. What was you give us like a, a book report on the Cosby docu series from someone from Philly? So. I, full full honesty, I had I like when the, all this shit came out, I was 100 percent like, oh man, they trying to take my man down. This is corny, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. I actually mentioned it to to that that sentiment sentiment to Mark, and I didn't know that particular story, but his response to me definitely put like this. When I saw that part of the the the, the clip, I 100 percent texted him and said, yo, my bad, I get it, right? <laughs> this dude is yo, this dude is outright the and I, I'm one of those people that's like, yo, I get it was the '70s, I get, I get it was wild, I, I '60s and '70s and even the '80s, right? Like hell, the '90s. I understand all them times were wild, but if like, if 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 everybody was wild, dude was like super duper creep with it. I believe I know somebody could put, could could potentially be or not be, but. Yo, my man, it's yo, next that level, CNN right? clip. Oh my, yo, the, did you you've seen the CNN Larry King clip? Yo, he's the biggest creep ever. Remind, like it's ridiculous. Remind me, remind me. This remind is the me. one where he's talking about the Spanish fly, putting right? it in the drink. Where oh, he was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yo, the way they describe it, right? And again, not saying it's cool, but like I got that. Yo, this was the time everybody was. Not everybody, oh. but there was a large population of people that were using this tech. They were using this. The, there's an episode of of the Cosby Show where he talked about his special barbecue. The sauce. barbecue sauce, yep. Yeah. So, yep. So, <laughs> so yo, Never they, eat they showed, the so they so they showed that clip. They showed that clip in there, uh-huh. and I'm watching it, and I'm just like, because I remember that yo, I, that that was so funny to me. It's like, oh, this is crazy. Right. He's got some secret sauce. His love. You watch, he's yeah. just like, yo, this is this this is this is creepy. This is yeah, creepy. This like dude the... was an OBYN, right? Yeah, he could have yeah, been any doctor yeah. he wanted to be. Or whatever is what I think I butchered that. I don't think it's an OBYN. OBGYN. OBGYN. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The gynecologist. He could have been, yeah. he could have been anything. I thought it was yeah. I really did think he was a uh um like a, a pediatrician or whatever at first. Even though I knew he was delivering babies, I just was like, Oh, he, he's always doing stuff with kids. No, he's a creep. I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have never defended dude. Yo. I mean, like, like never. It's, it's the crazy thing, like I said, man, is not just he was a creep. Like us I think, I think I was at a point at some point years ago where I'm like, yeah, he's like a creep. But like, you know, he, like you said, like he didn't even know he was doing anything wrong. Right? Because that that's that was the vibe back then. But it's like as I've learned more and more, I'm like, no, this dude. <laughs> Absolutely knew he was doing yeah, he, he knew exactly knew what, what he's he doing, doing, man. Yeah, my favorite part of the uh Mark Lamont Hill um that little clip was when he was like, 
I, I'm calling this nigga Dr. Cosby and like, I actually hey. have a PhD. Yeah, like, a real I'm calling PhD. this nigga, yeah, yeah, I got a real PhD. You know what I'm saying? So that's number one, yo. yo. Like, you I'm coming that here. Nerve? Like, I'm coming here. No, no, I did. Respect. Yo, his PhD is in, um, I forget what the fuck they said he did. I think he did it on, like, his, whatever, his dissertation or whatever he has to write or whatever. Yeah. I think it was on Fat Albert. <laughs> like, I think that's what they said in the shit. Like, no bullshit. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm not bullshitting yeah. with you. Yeah, like nah, that's he, fucking um, crazy to me. I think, I think the more I started to learn about Cosby, like when I got older, because you know when you're young, it's like you got the Cosby Show. You got like people telling you about Bill Cosby and how he was like this funny comedian and he's America's dad and all this shit. And that shit kind of mean a lot as like a black person because you like America's dad and it's a black man. Like, oh shit, yeah, he must be ill because America ain't adopting no. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not going to do that. But the older I got, the more I started to like really realize what type of nigga he was when he started talking about the, you know, even before the sexual assault, even before that, yeah. with the pull your pants up shit, my whole thing was like, bro, do you think that the difference between us being yeah. accepted or not is just pulling our pants up? Like, do you pants really up, think yeah. that it's been that simple this whole time? That like yeah. white America yeah. has been looking at us and being like, man, I'm so tired of seeing they fucking boxers, dog. Like, if they just pull yeah. their pants up, we'll, we'll let them get a job. We'll let them get ahead. <laughs> we'll stop killing them for no reason. Just pull your pants up. <laughs> This it's never been that simple, and and I think from that moment on, I was I was I was off of like hearing his side of the story. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck how much power right. and influence you have. I'm off hearing your side of the story because you're telling us, like you're basically telling them that they're right for how they judge us. Yep. Like yeah, these yep. these niggas is scoundrels. Look at the way they wear their pants. We let's be done with them. And it's like, oh fuck you, then nigga. Like oh you a, oh and you a hoe too? Okay, cool. So now when all of this stuff comes out and you got the stories and the backstory of people backing it up, it's like, you told us to pull our pants up, dog. You was out here dropping shit and drinks. Like, what you, what? Like, what are you talking well, about, no, dog? Well I, well, I got a PhD writing about Fat Albert. But come on, bro. Dog. Like, come yeah. on, dog. Get that nigga out of here, man. Get that nigga all the way out of here. That he 100% had the, note, like Mark said, 100% the North Philly and him came out. Like, just, 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 it just is what it is, bro. Yo, like, I, 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 it was hard to watch this. It was hard to watch it, though, to be honest with you. I didn't want to watch it. But, like, I do, it, it, it's a, it's a dope watch. It, it, it's, it's crazy when you just hear all these like people, who, it's like, select, else, like everybody. Yeah. Who else were people with first hand experiences like Mark? People that we've heard um, of. Um, um, it like it. I, there weren't really many more firsthand experiences. It was just run-ins, right? Like, so what's yeah. my man name? Uh, uh, um, uh, the the boy that was on the show. He was Denise's husband. Oh yeah, Alvin. No, no, that Alvin was um. Was oh, Sa- it was Sandra's husband. Sandra's husband. Yeah, Denise's husband um, was the like the soldier. He was like a Al- Marvin. Yeah, it was in the Navy. The dude, the Navy, the dude that was like in the Navy or whatever. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What, Whose kid was uh what's his uh Raven Simone was his kid? Raven Simone. Yeah. So him and Al he was telling the story about there was one of the one of the women that was the accuser, she was like a, a cop on the show or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she, you know, Bill ran into her out somewhere in the mix, blah, blah, blah. She said she wanted to be on the show. Next thing you know, she's in the show, right? Like the next like mm-hmm. ASAP, basically. She had her own studio i mean her own dressing room right this is an extra mm-hmm. on the show she had her own dressing room mm-hmm. he's alvin and my man that i can't remember his name he said mm-hmm. literally they gave them a closet bill had them dudes in the closet damn like damn bro <laughs> yeah like he, yo, he was just yo like he he's just a he was an asshole like he yo he it, even like like not even saying besides the sexual assault but like outside of that like like besides just that aspect of it like he's he's actually like a like a right. jerk right yeah see like, he's that's a what fucking, I'm saying he's a dick he's a dickhead and that's what I'm saying he lost the people a long time ago before we heard all of these stories like right now like he lost niggas mad long ago where it's like dog we just not fucking with you as a people like you a whole ass nigga like that's that's enough for me right there like I'm cool with you dude Martin, He's the king of code switching. The dude, the dude, the character you're talking about, Martin, oh, Martin, Martin Kendall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
it, but it hurt. It hurt because you. I mean, it's it's a hurtful thing. Like because it's just you. You thought at least me. I personally thought of this man as you know. I bought into the image, but good lord, dog. Like, yo, you want to talk about a dude? I mean, bro, try. I see you make like I. You gotta think. I'm a little kid. I'm watching this shit. This is this is like that show was. Hey, the family. We all sit down. We we watch this together. You know what I mean? Like, Jerf. I bought into the image. Jerf. That nigga said it hurt. It hurt, bro. Fuck like, nigga. this is America's that. No, yeah, it's no, that nigga no, for sure. No, 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 no. I've been <laughs> off that nigga since a long time ago, bro. Yeah. Cause that shit not real to me. You got a different back. You got mom and a pop. That shit ain't relatable to us. It's like, nigga, Denise, fine as fuck. Cool. Theo. <laughs> he relatable. That's it. That's all niggas taking from that. Nigga, we waiting like. Oh, nigga, you know what I mean? I relate more to a different world than that shit. That shit was cool, but actually also Fresh Prince, Jamie Foxx, that's my mm -hmm. more daily yeah. type shit that I could relate to. That shit, yeah. nigga, we ain't got no fucking brownstones in I was Compton, just in, I was just in love with, uh, with Claire with Claire Huxtable. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh Shouts to her, too. God. But, like, again, Boy, but again, niggas' moms wasn't, pr like, again, where yeah. I'm from. I mean, and, yeah, yeah, no, and, and, part, and part of what you're saying is, is real. Like, I had, I, I grew up in, like, my both of my parents in the house, but it wasn't like that. Like, we wasn't yeah. living like them. But, it was just, it was just good to see a black family on TV that was, like, not yeah, going I think, through some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 yeah. I was too young to even Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, no, I'm, I'm not you. thinking I'm about you. that shit. I'm thinking about yeah. it from me as a young kid. Yeah. Cool, it's just that's what my focus because the only other only other shit from back then that was positive kind like kind of ish was like the Jeffersons like that nigga was rich and like they ain't had no they yeah. kid was grown so like it wasn't really yeah. it could it couldn't be relatable to like you know what I'm saying like but the nineties was our time and, yeah yeah the nineties yeah. was our time though they yeah. gave us like almost a damn near a decade to cook even though it oh, shouldn't fire be shows, it yeah. shouldn't be a time but we had so much I we grew I can't say that I didn't grow up on black television yeah That's no all absolutely. I watched nigga they, in my they house like it wasn't too. like it yeah. wasn't like, oh, I'm, I wish we could have seen this. Nah, I seen that shit. I seen even, even Keenan like Ivory Reigns. Shows, like hanging with my like, nigga, nigga in the house. <laughs> I still, <laughs> I still, I still call nigga James Carey. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, in a certain thing, yes, you are older, jerk. But I'm just saying, for you to say like I'm hurt, my nigga, you didn't move your values. <laughs> no, but, like, you weren't but, wearing no, sweater no, vests. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm hurt that this image that I bought in was fucking like. Not like I was a hurt. Lie. Like, oh, but, but that yeah, niggas like, is like, buying into that nigga Kanye. It's like, let that shit go. That nigga's an entertainer just like everybody else. You don't know Bill Cosby, nigga. My nigga, I was fucking like eight. Like, what you want me? Like, I'm not advancing my thinking, my nigga. Like, I was he won't, eight. He won't let it go. He won't let it go. It's cool. It's cool. You, you created Yo, this nigga in your head, bro, that you want him to that's, be. That's no, the episode I, title. What? You don't, you don't know Cosby, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 just like that too. <laughs> this nigga swear he know that nigga, bro. You don't know none of these niggas, man. It's a lot of man, niggas that, you don't know freak, that nigga. freak nasty ass niggas behind the scenes, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, what they That's, say, yeah. That's That's no man? That's, That's a wild ass title, too, by the way. <laughs> you ain't never met no title. Bill Cosby, nigga. <laughs> Bill Cosby, Yo, you 37 years way, old. Speaking, speaking of wild ass, yo, man. <laughs> Oz, it can I can boil down these two episodes literally <laughs> to three things, right? Number one, and or actually let me go backwards yeah. and forwards. Number All right, number three is Cloutier's ghost telling people, continuing to tell people to kill to kill other people. Number two is we get the uh two rich white boys that show up. One of them goes to M City, and he's I guess was friends with family friends with Beecher. The other one goes to Gen Pop, and he gets in with, with the Aryans, and they turn him all the way out, making that dude wear ponytails and lipstick and stuff. Yo, uh, but number one is Petey Shabetta, the son of Nino Shabetta, who got raped by Adebisi all them years ago. Now is finally back, and he's out of the psych ward, and he's kind of normal and regular. He's trying to, um, you know, because Pankama was in in the infirmary because of the, the fight from the episode where uh, the brawl between the Aryans and the Italians happened. So Chibetta's trying to kind of return into a leadership role, trying to recruit people. So he goes to uh, he goes to Saeed, and Saeed is like, yeah, man, but you got re raped out of VC. 
<laughs> it's funny. It's like, like he's like, yeah, man. But whatever. I say, it's like, be that as be that as it may. You still got rape out of him. You see. So finally, this idiot tries to run up on the Aryan solo, and they grab him. And this is the scene that's been burnt in my brain literally since the first, the only time I saw it, damn near twenty years ago. They got the dude bent over on the table. They dug his pants down. And Schillinger go to get some a handful of tar as lube. It says, I've always wondered who got a bigger dick, me or Adebisi. And I was like, wow. <laughs> this nigga's wilding, 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 man. That is, yeah, exactly, Mario. Nigga, <laughs> what? Dog, he said. I've <laughs> Yo. Yo, Oz, man, they be pushing some lines. Oh, I've always man. wondered. Who has a bigger dick, me or Adebisi? Holy like, shit. Damn, bro. Like, you got to kill yourself at that point, right? <laughs> bro. Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, oh, oh man. Ha! <laughs> Dog. Nah, chill out, man. <laughs> Yo, uh, let's see what else is going on. Omar White, he starts singing because he went into the music program with, with uh, O'Reilly's mom. <laughs> First of all, he says, "You sure are a fine woman." <laughs> like, you're such a weirdo. And then she flips out because she asked him to sing. Like, everyone's lying. You lied. You. She said, "I didn't have to sing if I didn't want to." Oh my god! Then they get him to start you, singing. You love this. You won't stop. Y'all love this dude. Dog, he's so funny, man. <laughs> he's so funny. He walks around singing all day. Everybody hates him because <laughs> he won't stop singing. Oh, real, real quick, is there is there an acceptable way of telling a nigga his mom look good? Like, do you think no. there is an acceptable no. way? No, no, it's not right because there's no, no way even, that you, can, you don't even walk, you, you don't even talk even, on that territory. You can't even bro. say it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't even say it. Like, you can't even be like, nah, your mom. As soon as you say, nah, your mom, a nigga gonna look at you like, don't even. I don't give a fuck. Niggas, fuck. niggas, niggas, listen. Niggas' moms is beautiful in their own way, but having a hot mom is probably the worst problem you possibly can have. Yes. Oh nigga. my God, man. I can't yeah. imagine. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You love your mom. These AAU you niggas going through it, boy. I know but it. Have, I played with, I played on a team what? with a nigga the AAU that had a hot mom, bro. And that shit bro. was probably the worst experience that nigga possibly could deal with because yeah. niggas want to spend a night over his house, bro, plotting to close his moms, bro. Shit no, is wild. Yeah. It's like the, the kid from UCLA or who's going to UCLA whose yeah. mom Yo. is dating Drake. Like, <laughs> Yo, he said niggas, he said niggas be trying to spend the night. So they nah, dead ass though, nigga, for mom. real. Yo, Yo that's sick. Because you know what it is? That's niggas terrible. can't wait to get, niggas can't even wait to get back to the homies and be like, hey, I yeah, mean, nigga. like I had I listen, got some dirt, you gotta anything, bro. Niggas say anything, we, bro. We 15, she stacked, she got braces. Like oh, yeah. It's a lot going on in this. And think about it. Yeah, 15, at 15, you the horniest nigga, bro. You the, you nah, by yeah, far. Man, nigga, I'm, yes, yes. Don't and we in Vegas, we in Vegas, nigga. And like, it's on some shit like the sweets. And then this nigga mom's checking on niggas. And niggas like, I'm scared. Can I stay? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yup. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yo, niggas is plot, dog. Niggas said I'm niggas scared, some rude, nigga. Niggas some real. rude niggas, bro. Like, niggas ain't even talking. Niggas, uh, niggas saying rude shit like, damn, I'll be that nigga stepdad. Like, niggas shit, is saying though. crazy shit, bro. Like, no, it real. is so crazy because you like, damn, this nigga mom's is really. She probably was She probably was Reggie Miller, bro. Like, I'm talking about regular. Like, yeah, 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 average yeah. as hell. But at 15. But, just that, but at 15, we was just grown. so hype. Like, she, she it's, coming, something about, it's something about her being a mom, too, where you like, it added an extra level of oomph to it. You but no, nah, it wasn't even it wasn't even like hitting a teacher or anything. It was just that she looked hot. Like, you see yeah. niggas' moms, it's like, respect. Like, yeah, Mrs. Yeah, she niggas, was not call, niggas was not calling her Mrs., nigga. Like, niggas was damn near trying to call her the Look, first name. First name? Be like, Bro, look, like, then, you said, then you said she had braces. You know how white people say, like, some shit is they jam? Dog, braces used to be my jam, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? For the joint. That was, that was my thing right. at one point. What? Yeah, when I was young. Oh, no, that's, that's when so I was young, that was my thing. Man, I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, All the light-skinned bad that's joints just... had braces, my nigga. I'm dead serious. Yo, his mom, his mom, e- his mom easily had to be my age now. She probably was like thirty-seven at the time. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's straight. That but that's sense. 15, 37, Niggas is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, that makes I, sense. you yeah. had the nigga at twenty-two. Like, nigga, you ain't even thinking about the math at that time. You just like, <laughs> nigga, mom's cool. 
She low, she short, she got and she, ass. And she like, accessible too. Like she right there. Hey, so it's like it's easy. Hey, a nigga saying that? this shit though, like she's short, she got ass. <laughs> Your yeah. dad ain't there. So you yeah, think so you really got a nigga chance. Step right in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and nigga think he really got a chance. Like, you know, like if I be nice to her. Dog, it was a movie like that, dog. I, I want to say the nigga um Vince Vaughn was in this shit. It was a movie where the nigga uh he like went back home and shit, and he kept on talking about how he didn't want to go. So like his mom crib and shit, and his girl like the fuck like why not? And it's like his step pop, but his step pop was his homeboy. It's the four Christmases. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. His step pop yeah. was home. He went over there trying to talk to him and shit like, hey, yeah. what's up, man? He like, man, get the fuck, like, man, yeah, fuck out of here. Wait, like, his, his I know that was his homeboy. It was his homeboy? Yeah, like, he came like, up with. You know, his, his step like the step pop is like, I know I'm I'll, I can never replace your father. Yeah, but I'm, ho- <laughs> but I'm hoping we can at least be friends. It's like. Yeah, we already friends. He's like, we grew up together. You, yeah, you must know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, that's a great movie, dog. I couldn't believe that shit when I seen that, man. Like, goddamn. Yeah. yeah, that's nasty. That's nasty work. There's no way around that. Like, you gotta go. You gotta go. I'm making the headlines yeah. behind that. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm I'm turning into Dexter. You know what I'm saying? I'm Bay Harbor scared. Butcher I'm status scared. on that, nigga. I'm yeah, I'm scared. scared is a wild line, man. That's a wild line. I'm it's scared. a great line. I'm scared, <laughs> you know I me? Mean? Yeah, cause you know the mom, you know the, the you know maternal instincts kick in. She want to take yeah. care, you know. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, why not? I'm scared. Fuck it. I'm scared. What? Oh man, I'm gonna admit that. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, one last thing I want to point out. Uh, Brass, who's the the CEO who got slashed in his Achilles. Get splashed with a blood shit piss puke cocktail, and that joint was lumpy and brown. And I damn near threw up, man. I was like, "That's that's got to be one of the grossest things I've ever seen on Oz." And, and, but and not apparently, be- that's like some real shit, though. Like real yeah, life. Yeah, they be like, doing Wallow, that, man. Yeah, I don't know if you listen to uh, Million Dollars Over Game, but like Wallow does these segments where it's like stories from the cell, and he talk about like his experiences in prison, and he talk about that mm-hmm. shit, like. You know, like they used to do that. They used to really be on that kind of shit sometimes with certain guards. Like certain guards is dickheads, and you already know who it is, whatever. Some niggas used to do that. Like they had a name for it and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, oof. yeah, nah, nah. That was yeah, my last day. They, they they beat his ass though. <laughs> they beat Boy, the out that. Boy, yeah, he's got oh, terrible man. luck. Damn, man. I wanted to talk about we ain't cover yet though. The talent I show? Yeah. Nah, I was talking about that nigga got the he won the lottery and slid on niggas. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I knew, yeah. I mean you, you can see that coming, even though it happens. I, anyone's been watching and following on Oz, you know, man. He, like, he gave the dude is already a jerk and you give him a dollar for the or the numbers or whatever. And yeah, there's no chance he was gonna ever give him that stuff. But uh all right, let's 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 clean it all up now. Let's wrap it all up with some power talk. Powerific. Tommy uh goes to go meet with the the dudes from CBI, Chicago Brothers International, whatever they call. Uh, you know, tells them, hey, we should do some stuff. I'm a free agent. Uh he goes and takes a walk with uh with the dude, the homie that came out of prison. They get yammed up by Rojas people, I'm like, who are Rojas? People? I like, I'm, I don't know about y'all, man. I was confused so many times in this episode. I didn't know who anybody was. So they like, hey, we're gonna kill you unless you sell this drugs for us by today. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's to stop us from not like walking out of here, bringing the whole army and coming down on y'all? But okay, powerific, get it. So then they start selling. They're doing drops. I'm like, how does Tommy know any of these people? Yeah. Why is Tommy? Why is Tommy the one? Why is dude driving Tommy's car, and why is Tommy the one walking into these places where he doesn't know any of these people? Mm-hmm. Why isn't the dude the one doing the drops and dro- Tommy the one driving his own car? I'm sure Tommy set it up that way so he can actually make the connects. What connects? That's what like I'm he, saying. He, no, oh, I'm saying okay. anytime he went in, he was just like, "Hey." How can I how can I get to know you again? And that's when that nigga was making his like networking plays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every time he was leaving those spots, so I'm sure he's like, stay in the car. I got it. Because that nigga hot, he can't do nothing anyway. He fresh out, so they waiting on that nigga to slip uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that uh, makes sense. I, but I hadn't been that com- like you said, like about that scene. Um, the worst I think power did on that was in uh in book two when they had like Braden and his brother out there selling, and you know, they, they had Braden go right down there and just yeah. 
chum up and buddy up and old pal yeah. up with the black dudes on the block. And by the end of the night, he was he was legit now. And it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, um, but it, but in but in like uh enforced now, I, I had the same reaction the mean did. I thought I missed something because I was like, wait a minute, who am I supposed to know who that is? Or yeah, maybe I missed who, something. I don't know. <laughs> who who's Liliana? She jumped out of nowhere like an assassin <laughs> trying to kill him. I'm Yo, like, that's who not is this? that's that, that's not. I thought that was uh old girl with the pink shoes, but then I was reminded that she died. She's dead. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost, ghost yeah. killed her. Yeah. Let, me, let me say this too though, because I um I don't think I was on when y'all talked about the first episode. Mm-hmm. My reaction to the first episode is this. Like, yes, cool. It's, it's Tommy, he's acting like Tommy. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. The one gripe I had with that episode, the one was his fucking brother, bro. Like. Not because he was yeah. black. I like black people. I have black friends. Um, but <laughs> I just the way he was talking was just oh, Not oh, 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 all right. Like you like Grand Theft Auto voice ass nigga. Like, come on, dog. Like, let's come on, my nigga. That was the only gripe I yeah. had with it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm, um, well, how, how about this week when he says my ex-husband? And I was like, Yeah, they, they are so they <laughs> so hard. They try so hard. I'm like, y'all don't have to. I promise you, you don't have to try this hard. We're woke. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> that and the whole like, oh, the <laughs> driving while black and like, oh, okay. I'm like, I yeah, don't need to much, learn man. life lessons from power, man. This, yeah. so it's not so, an after school so, special. And, and I, I mean, I get, I get the privilege, but there's no way that Tommy gets to just walk out. And, and, and just say, hey, this is my car, and everything be all good. <laughs> why, why would he want Tommy's driver's license? Why he still would want my man's driver's yeah. license? He's the, he's right. behind the wheel. The wheel, yep. No, they trying to make it did. seem like Chicago ain't shit. <laughs> I wish Sean was on here to attest to some of these true type of things for Chicago, but it's mm-hmm. funny because how they trying to sell Chicago? They selling Chicago I'm on t- a whole different view. Let me tell you, niggas, I, I how can't be Chicago. Yeah. I can't tell you how hard I laughed when Tommy's brother was talking about he got a son that he ain't seen. And we start seeing the son with the, he got like the ratchet on him and he goes down into like a little gutter and like opens a box and sees a picture of his dad. And he just crouching up I laugh so hard. Yeah, they really be trying out here, man. This show, I'm, I'm already off this show. Man. <laughs> really? Care. Really? I just wanted it. Yeah. To, I don't know, man. I thought like it would be like Kanan, like where it's like it's powerific, no. but you know, no. the, yeah, you know, the storyline is all over the place. Like this nigga is just, I'll be every day, I'll be looking like every, every episode, I'm sitting there like, okay, <laughs> all right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the nigga. So, so if y'all had to rank them, it's still early, it's still early in force, but like right now, in terms of like impact immediately, am I gonna fuck with this or not? Or then even after it wrapped. Where do you have these shows ranked? And we're not going to include BMF in it because it's not a part mm. of like the, you know power. what I mean? Like the power. Yeah, we're universe. talking about power shows. Yeah. So we got power, we got book two, we got Raising Kane, and now we got Force. So this early on, we kind of had these same thoughts about like the other shows or whatever. I know for me, Raising Kane was, was like, say, I was okay, all the way from episode one. Not the first okay. power. The first power. The first power, the first three crazy. seasons. The first three seasons were fire. I, I'll, okay. stand, I'll stand by that. First three seasons were fire. And then, like, up until, like, when 50 didn't quite die and all, like, that's, I'm like, all right, whatever. That's when it started and also, for you? That's when the- Well, for me, for me, it's actually started when there was a season where it's, like, they went to Tommy and they told him, yo, you got to kill Ghost. Okay. And Ghost had already fucked him over on some stuff. I was like, okay, okay, okay. you're going gonna to kill him. But then all of a sudden, we have to combine forces. I'm like, nah, man. Like, that, that <laughs> fairy tale stuff, I'm yeah, not with yeah. it. Captain Clan is out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that, to, that, to me there. Kanan, I was in from episode one. I me was too. like, boom. Power Book 2, I was, oh, because I was just kind of like, all right, I was rolling my eyes. Then after it started, I was like, okay, this is actually... It's not bad. It's a little different. But mm. then, like, it went super power. And, like, mm. it, where it ended, like, this last season is just, like, yeah, it's no better than the power before it. And now this one, Force, I liked episode <laughs> one. But, like, this second episode is just too, like, because here's the one thing that they haven't done too much of in power. They're not trying to do any societal commentary. And episode two is like, oh, my 
ex-husband do you have a problem with that with my with yeah, GTA yeah, voice? yeah i'm like oh that's dude. what i hate him i hate his character and i think it's making it hard for me to like kind of all the way get into it i do think this might be a slow burn no. like we might get into like episode six and be like oh this shit is lit but these first two are kind of like but they can't yeah. they can't fuck they, they can't fuck off uh most of that shit who got a phone phone Oh, you got a phone phone over there. Yeah, that nigga got a call from Commissioner Gordon on that motherfucker. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, shit, you know what I mean? But no, so I, if I had to rank them, I would say Raising Canaan is probably Come the man. best. <laughs> nah, I got a I got a virtual doorman, man. So, like, the delivery people go. I got a little man. I think said a phone call. <laughs> oh, Commissioner Gordon. Is- <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fucking hilarious, by the way. Gordon called that nigga like, yo, man, okay. yo, shit. Lit down here, man. Come through. Yo, ha- having a bat, hey. having a bat line is crazy. You feel me Tra- with Tra- the little red Tra- button on the joint? Trey don't, Tra- <laughs> don't even need a mask. That nigga just put two little horns on his head and he good. <laughs> <laughs> the IG filter with the horns on it, just like yo. <laughs> uh, Trey, oh, I ever saw you with horns. Hey, first of all, matter of fact, let me say this because you got the Rams jersey uh, on. Shit. By the time y'all niggas hear this episode, by the time anybody listening to this, John Matthew Stafford will be a Super Bowl champion. That's, I just want to say that real quick. You know what I'm saying? I, pr- I, I appreciate that. Stafford, good, I, pre- I appreciate that love. No, nah, I fuck with uh, Stafford, listen, dog. Since this, since this is a Black Opinions Matter motherfucker um, episode, white people got, I mean, black people got to stop letting these white people that can dance in. Niggas them crown Burrow, the king. And yeah, I love him. Yeah, and just because that. a nigga know how to chimmy and do all just that, just because a nigga know how to hit the gritty and do the fucking whatever, hey, like nah. Yeah. Hey, I, look, keep it football, but don't make it. Listen, after after that, shit's still in Ohio, Euro. so I'm still not fucking with it. So like, I, I like Joe Burrow and all that enough, but like, <laughs> no, it's still it's still no, Ohio once team, the final, so. once the final score Fuck and all this shit goes zero zero zero, please don't be making like this nigga the king. I seen um Jamar Chase say he's a god to him. I, nigga said he'll do whatever you tell him to. I'm gonna just leave that alone right I there. Could, I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> that's let's wicked wordplay right there, my nigga. <laughs> let's keep it as sports. Hey, man. I mean. Yeah. Hey, my, my boy gonna get a couple endorsements and he gonna show his true colors like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will say this: Joe Burrow deserves the commercials that like uh fucking Baker Mayfield has because that nigga ain't shit. And he in like ninety commercials. Joe Burrow deserves that shit. But um, yeah. yeah. Other than Boban, that, like yeah, nah. Boban deserves all their commercials. Let's be honest. All Yo, right. are yeah, we gonna talk up? about that? What's the name shit before we get out of here? The what? Dolphins coach. Hey, oh man. man. I, yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you my nigga, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Mike Wilbon voice. Um <laughs> I want to I want to say this, right? When I heard him at the press conference talking about how he identifies as a human being and all that, the first thing that popped into my mind was I could understand if they were introducing him as like, "Oh, this is like the first like whatever, like openly like gay coach and everybody's making like comments about that or the media is like, how do you feel being a gay coach? And he says, I'm a human being. I would understand that 100% because yes, don't, you know, downplay it like, you know, his sexuality defines him and all. Cool. You're biracial, bro. It's cool to it's cool to just say like, hey, my, my pops is black, my mom's isn't. It's what it is. Secondly, he's the head football coach of a football team like, dog, teams take on the identity of their coach. This nigga don't have an identity. They're going to lose every fucking game, probably. Like, what are, you t- like, what are we doing here? What are we actually doing here? There's no way that my team is lining up against the fucking Dolphins next season if I'm a football fan, and I'm looking at that coach over there thinking that they're going to beat me. I mean, he don't even know who they are. He don't, like, get, look at that nigga. That nigga, here, said, that nigga said, my dad black, my mom white. Um, <laughs> But I identify as a human being. That nigga out of here. Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> swag ass nigga, man. Fuck out of here. Like, that's God. So you identify as a human being. God, leave me alone. Like, <laughs> fuck out of here, man. That shit was corny, dog. Like, I'm I'm, not, I'm sorry, man. That shit was corny. Okay, let me ask you. Corn, who was cornier? Him or Hubert Davis? <laughs> 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 You know what? You know what? I ain't gonna lie, Hubert Davis. <laughs> Hubert Davis. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why Hubert Davis got him. Hubert, Hubert Davis. Davis is cornier because he did all this other shit just to be like, and my wife is white. Like nigga, <laughs> what do you? What? <laughs> and niggas didn't care. We didn't like. like what are you talking about? You came here to coach like that, basketball. Like, like, like that shit could have been like. 
Never mentioned. Niggas would have never Google searched it. Nothing. That nigga's and Hubert Davis looked dumb anyway. So like that, he automatically oh, nah. funny. He looks stupid. Ain't nobody going there no more to play with them Jordans on. Yeah, Niggas don't wear Jordans it. like that no more. They gotta get a new sneak. I'm just, I, this is just the Dolphins head coach, nigga, bro. Like, I couldn't believe it. I, I really could not believe this shit because it's like, look at this nigga. Like, like what are we doing here, though? It's the head football coach of your team. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. My whole thing is, my whole thing is the reason why it's a big deal that, that you, that you don't look black is because, man, there's a whole Rudy rule built around it with team getting compensation for it. Yeah. Like, bro, like, hold on now. How's yeah. like if you would have got the job, let me just say, if no one had ever mentioned your heritage, no one would have known he was black. He would have passed. Right. And so he's not facing the same obstacles that uh, you know, a Brian Flores, of uh, Eric Bienemy, or any of these other mm-hmm. guys are facing. Yeah. I'm not. I don't. I'm not like. Cause I saw people trying to like compare it to when uh, when Rob Parker called RG three a corny, a corny Cornwall brother. brother. I yeah. I yeah. I don't. I don't care who you fuck. I don't care what music you listen to. I don't care what movies you like. Whatever, dude. Do you? But like the idea that there's rule is designed to give opportunities to people who otherwise would not have those opportunities because of the color of their skin. You know, that's something that does not apply to this dude. Right. In the he same way that right. he was gonna get it regardless. <laughs> in the same way that in the forties there were black people who were light enough and that cooked their hair enough to look white. Yeah, white passion. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, they, yeah, no one's. I'm not, you know, attacking or questioning their uh, their blackness or lack thereof. But I'm just saying, like, they don't have to go through some of the trials and tribulations that other black people who could not pass yeah. had to. And, and that's all this is about, man. Yeah. So, like, when he says, oh, I identify as a human being, bro, they didn't give the Niners third-round picks because you're, you're a human right. being. Right, exactly. Exactly. The league did that because they knew that they could say, oh, well, there's a guy who See? Yep. He did, look, we did hire one. Yep. It's like, bro. Yep. Like like Amin just said, if we didn't know this shit, they still would have gave you the opportunity. Like you got the job. There are plenty yeah. of other coaches who did not get jobs, bro. Like it's like what are we talking about here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So identifying right. as a human being is not some shit that you have to like compromise with. You have the luxury of doing that. Right. That's a luxury. Right. That's not just a choice you woke up one day and was like, you know what? Like Mike Tomlin can't just be like, well, I identify as a human. Like, bro, no. Yeah. He doesn't get to yeah. do that. You do. You're like, get your black ass back in line. Yeah, like come on, dog. The, they they made sure that. they made sure to air his dad's dirty laundry, though, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> oh yeah, yo, his, you know he identifies as this because his mom was in the picture. His dad, it, like, but his dad died. Yeah, that's. What, but I, yeah, I don't know. Right. I mean, oh, his, no, his I, dad would lay out the bars. Oh. Uh, yeah, but they made sure to let you know. Yeah, that nigga went there. Right. Oh, oh, like it wasn't around. <laughs> right. yeah. Oh, him. yeah. Just let y'all know, yeah. yeah. And the person that's the reason that he's getting this, the guy that's the reason he's getting this, wasn't even in his life. Right. Yo, right. Uh, right. Tr- Trey, as we move in as Super Bowl Sunday, do we get to talk about your other job at all, or is that a secret? I don't even know. Can you? All I'm gonna say is, we like '96 Bulls in this motherfucker. Eight minutes of airtime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking my shit for the game. Yeah. White and Kennedy stuff. up in this bitch. You feel me? Trey, Ad week. Trey, Check it out. Trey's worked on a bunch of ads that are all going to be airing today. Is this your first nah, Super I'm Bowl? chilling. I'm chilling today. I'm chilling today. I ain't work on nothing, but the gang did. And all I'm going to say right, is, there you go. look out for kickoff. And then look throughout the thing. Can you give us a brand they- at least? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Watch hey, you know what's crazy? Since that episode that we had about the McAfrica and all that shit, McDonald's is like doing this thing now where they got the the like secret menu shit. They got it like out in the open. They got a couple oh, items out. Can I tell so you? They got about the that? land, air, and sea. Oh my the God, the so good. It's the McChicken, the Big Mac, and the fucking fish sandwich in one. Can I get you another one? The ba- all right, so I'll I'll peel yeah. back the layer on that. So that's all fan made. They gave a fan the voice, pretty much. They allowed, like, again, niggas sit through comments, and see all mm-hmm. this other shit. There was a guy who, on his lunch break, would order all this shit and make it 
and post it on TikTok. Wow. Well, we credited the nigga. <laughs> we credited all those people that made that shit and just allowed them to have a secret yeah. menu hack for yeah. true and fans he, of McDonald's. They got the double cheeseburger too. But with the, with the nuggets again, on when, and the barbecue sauce. When you see it roll out, <laughs> motherfuckers is like, why would McDonald's package it like this? It's like, nah, we catering to the fans that really love to the super fans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't like, yeah. oh, we trying to send niggas to the hospital. Nah, niggas eat nasty like that <laughs> on their awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They chose that. <laughs> also, when Dog. you get a chance, all listeners plus the panel, go Google a McGangbang. All right, and on that note. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Black Trey. Thank you, Big yeah. Jerry. Thank you, Mariano. <laughs> this has been Black Opinions Matter. Remember, uh, patreon.com slash count the things. Make sure you subscribe. Get all that good content. We're going to be back tomorrow for you on the Overflow to review the latest episodes of Righteous Gemstones and Euphoria. Until next time, stay black, motherfuckers. <laughs>